Do you know how the glass bottles we see every day are made? Why is it said that glass factory machines must run 24 hours a day without stopping? First, let's understand the glass manufacturing process. The raw materials used to make glass are not complicated. Most of them include sand, soda ash, limestone, feldspar, and others. To save on manufacturing costs, recycled glass is also added to the mixture. After all the raw materials are pre-processed and mixed, they are continuously melted in a high-temperature pool furnace. This turns them into uniform, bubble-free, liquid glass that meets molding requirements. During this process, the equipment runs continuously, 24 hours a day. The liquid glass flows through the material channel to the end, where it's cut into blocks based on different requirements. Then it is either blow molded into shape, or placed into molds to form the required glass products or various containers. The cut glass drops, and the glass drops are pressed into molds with metal plungers. Compressed air pushes the glass into place, but no matter the process, after being blown into shape, the glass surface must undergo surface treatment. This is what we commonly refer to as the annealing process. At this point, the glass is very hot. After being moved into the annealing furnace, its temperature is reduced to below 480 degrees C. This annealing process removes internal stress from the glass, making it stronger and more resistant to breaking. Now, you might wonder why the equipment must run 24-7. As we know, during the entire glass bottle manufacturing process, once the raw materials are melted into liquid, it continuously flows through the production line. But if the equipment stops, the temperature will drop, and the melted liquid will solidify on the processing machines. Once the machines are stuck with solidified glass, it's very difficult to reheat and melt these solidified materials. So, under normal circumstances, glass factories don't stop their machines, unless there's a malfunction in the equipment. 